Those are just showcasing like, some of the basic behaviors. Um, basically, in a, in a quick demonstration, knowing what these behaviors do, it takes about three to five minutes to put that together. You know, to slap on a few behaviors, you know, a couple collision settings. If it doesn't work, you tweak it a few times. Then you got a basic breakout game. Are the behaviors done in torque scripts or torque scripts? Um, so I'll actually show you. Um, so which one? It's the same kind of, the same torque script as my torque scripting. Yes. So we use the same scripting language between all of our engines. Um, the scripting language being the same, and you, the uh, utility objects are the same. So we have like a, a list object that you can use. It's the same between our 3D and 2D. Um, so if you get used to TGB, going to the 3D is it's obviously a big jump because the objects are different. The, the like there's no terrain in here, things like that. But the actual scripting is, is the same, and a lot of the scripting utilities are the same. So a lot. We, we highly recommend when someone's trying to like learn torque and get to 3D. We say pick up TGV, build some games. There's some good like tutorials that walk you through making entire games and network games, um, and then step up to the 3D because um, it's the same language. So you're going to get a lot of cross benefit um, if you want to go 3D. There are quite a few cool tools. Okay, but uh, yeah. What's the price point? So? So the Tor Game Builder, uh, the binary version, which doesn't come with uh, source code, um, is $100. The pro version is $295, and you can upgrade with your cost discount. Um, the pro version gets you the source code to the editors, too. So again, we always like to give options with source codes, because professional developers always like to have the option to offer it, um, including all the editors. So, uh, 3D. Oh, 3D. So, Torque 3D, what I was just showcasing before, that's not out yet, it's a pre-order, um, is the professional version is $1,000. Um, we do discount all previous versions of Torque against it, and right now there's like a $100 discount for pre-order. Um, so, if someone has TGEA, they get $295 discounted against it. We do sell our other 3D technologies still. We're showcasing Torque 3D, it's the top technology we have right now, but those priced at $295 for TGEA, um, and TGE, which is a bit dated, but still quite a few people pick it up for basic games, um, is 150 dollars So there are scale options uh, if you want to go 3D, but you don't want to jump into 3 d And those prices do get discounted. So. so I was going to show the scripts. Is that just a one-time fee of $1,000, or if you start producing like a million units, is it still the same price? Or So right now, um, we with TGB, for example, we have an uh, indie and commercial license. Um, commercial license, the, clause, the basically the stipulation is if you or your company makes more than $250,000 a year, you qualify the commercial, not the indie. Um, the commercial license are, um, uh, they're still very reasonable, but they're uh, scaled up. Like TGB, the two nine, it's like $295 versus like $1,200 for the indie oh. versus commercial. Um, basically, we, we, we've always supported indies, but we do get a lot of commercial buys. Um, Torque 3D, uh, which is our newest tech and 3D technology. Uh, we're going with a different licen licensing system where it's $1,000 for just a per user license. Um, so this is how most of our indies like it, type of person. Um, but if you want to buy studio licensing, it's a $3,000 studio fee. Then we negotiate the per seat license, which actually could be less depending on how much you want to buy. So for a bigger studio, even a bigger indie studio, uh, it may work to your benefit to use studio licensing, especially if you want the company to own the licenses. A lot of indies like to own their own license. Right. So, any licensing questions? So the uh, the 2000 to 25, uh, 250,000 is something we're kind of moving away from. It's a thing we've done for eight years, and a couple other engine products have copied our licensing scheme since, like Unity and Blitz, I think, or, or one of the other ones. Um, but it's kind of a weird stipulation. Um, but uh, so we're moving more towards kind of like a studio license that may work better for studios anyways. Um, so I'll show you the script for the tech damage. So uh, there's a nice little project that just opens your project folder so you don't have to navigate to it. Helps in docs, not to have separate documentation explaining how you get to your folder on the different platform more than anything. Basically, any script in here, it will execute and try to load it into the editor for you to use it and take advantage of it. Um, so you can order.
organize these how you want. It doesn't affect your Take the damage. So, in this case, I'm uh, just going to open it and go back. Now, uh, Jason, we've got no scripting, right? Uh, we do have a script editor uh, that we sell called Torsion, which has full syntax highlighting. Um, it has breakpoint plugging and script, which is amazingly helpful um, to be able to just breakpoint and step through your script. Um, there are some other script editors that have Torque syntax highlighting as well. Um, but you could always just do it on the uh, No, Torsion is a separate product, and actually the price slips in my mind. <laughs> Um, I think it's between $50 and $100, I'm not completely sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but uh, it's developed by a studio that we are contracting now for doing Tor 3D stuff, and we worked in pair to do it, but it's, it's their product. Um, and it, we all use that internally to develop, but um, you can just use Notepad, you can use your basic script editors, and uh, Eclipse has like a uh, syntax highlighter. I think actually Eclipse or JEdit. Uh, I don't like using JavaScript editors, base script editors, but it's a lot of people like JEdit. It actually has a debugging interface too. Uh, so our breakpoint debugging interface is open, so there's some editors that take advantage of it. Torsion is the easiest to use. So he here's the behavior that gives us this, this function. Um, so right here we create basically uh, a behavior template object. Um, here's the line that actually creates it behavior template takes damage behavior. Um, there's a lot of things here that you can set that are just for the editor. Um, so the friendly name is the name it displays. The, uh, the behavior type is its subgroup categorization. Um, the description is the description that pops up in that big pool too. Um, and here these are fields uh, specifically exposed to the editor. Now you don't have to take advantage of that if you don't want to expose things to the editor, but that's one of the biggest benefits is so you can take that control from the editor. Um, so here we see the different fields we have, like health, a description that gets shown, uh, defining that it's an integer so it knows how to handle the editor, and we define a default value. Um, and basically that's for each of our values. Um, specifically for that object reference, we say object, uh, a default object in this case we don't have one, and then we define an object type. Um, so this works if you even add your, your own custom objects to Torque. Uh, gate builder, so it says T2D particle effect. If you wanted to reference a sprite, you could do T2D static sprite, which is the class. If you create your own custom